In water, you can fire your weapon all you want and still not end up killing anyone unless they're right in front of you. Although we found out in the last video that a pistol round should be more dangerous than a rifle shot because slower bullets travel a longer distance than the water, no bullets seem to be able to travel further than a few meters. This makes the bullet we are about to introduce today special because they can travel a long distance smoothly in the water, just like the bullets in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Now you know by intuition, the best way to increase bullet range is to decrease fluid resistance, which consists of pressure drag and skin friction. While streamlining the bullet can reduce its pressure drag, there's only so much we can do in a streamlined design. This makes skin friction the deciding factor, especially when streamlining reduces pressure drag by increasing skin friction, which makes it simply a trade-off. To counter that, some of you already mentioned in the last video that we could coat the bullet with hydrophobic material. But what does hydrophobic even mean? How does hydrophobic material work? When you move an object on the surface, you know by intuition that the more the surfaces are in contact, the more difficult it is to move it. That is the case when we have a normal surface where a water droplet will simply spread out in a shape like this. However, with hydrophobic material, the water droplet will be held tightly together by surface tension in a shape more like a dome. That is because hydrophobic molecules are non-polar and therefore try to minimize contact with the polar water molecules. While super hydrophobic material hates water even more and is defined to have a contact angle larger than 150 degrees, it is different because not only does it repel water, it simply rolls the almost spherical water droplets off the surface. This can be seen as the lotus effect in nature and as many applications, including waterproofing your clothes, shoes, or even your car. Now knowing how easily water can slide off a super hydrophobic surface, shouldn't we just spray all bullets with super hydrophobic coating to make them waterproof? Well, sounds like a good idea, except for the fact that the bullet is somehow still in contact with water. To further minimize skin friction, what if we try to borrow ideas from penguins or aquaman on how they speed up in water? What if the bullet is not in direct contact with water? but water vapor. That is exactly what a Norwegian company, DSG, was doing, where they designed a bullet that can travel in water for up to 60 meters. Known as a multi environment ammo, it is based on a physical effect called supercavitation that surrounds the bullet with a gas bubble. That is inherently different from the bubbles that we see when dropping an object into water because the gas comes not from the water surface, but from the water itself. But how can we make vapor bubbles in water? Well, it is time to revisit the phase diagram. If we look at the phase diagram for water, we can see a standard temperature and pressure that are actually two ways to turn liquid into gas, increasing the temperature or decreasing the pressure. Although heating up a bullet can theoretically achieve supercavitation, just like this hot metal ball piercing through the water, it is simply not practical in real life. So instead, we make use of Bernoulli's principle, which simply states that pressure decreases with increasing speed. As the high-speed bullet hits the water, what happens is the water speed up around the sharp edge at the specially designed nose, which lowers the pressure and creates a vapor bubble. As the bubble extends, and encloses the entire bullet, skin friction is drastically reduced because the bullet is no longer in contact with water anymore. This supercavitating bullet may seem advanced, but it's actually replicating the design principle of the supercavitating torpedo made by the Soviet Union in the 1970s. While the bullet requires technicality to stabilize and sustain the cavitation bubble, the torpedo maintains supercavitation by internally creating extra bubbles at the nose. Unlike torpedoes that only work underwater, these bullets are multi environment and can work just fine from air to water, from water to air, from air to air, 
or from water to water. This complicates warfare, and James Bond shall no longer need spear guns for battle underwater. He can simply load a gun with supercavitating bullets that have increased range and penetrative power in both air and water.